Hi, Stelly Vlogs here, back to you with another video. So, today I'm going to do something a little different, even though, well, this is only my second video, but I'm not really doing a vlog today. Um, oh, Lola. Hi, Lola. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing a little DIY for you guys today. Um, so today I am making, well, I'm not making, but I'm designing my own book covers. So I've made four book covers, one of them, well two of, I've got two concepts for them and I've done two different versions of each concept, if you know what I'm talking about, I don't even know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but um, so one of them I used watercolours, which is really nice, and the other one was for, I used, wait for it, potatoes. So. Um, I'll link down the description um, the people that I got the ideas from and also these books these books here um, they were made by the help of Tia Nash go subscribe yeah, that's the word go subscribe she's a really good um, account she does things like stretches and other stuff so <laughs> Go subscribe. Oh, I just spat. Go subscribe to her, and let's just get on to it. Okay, so first off, we'll start off with the watermelon. What you're gonna need is some paint, a knife, and a potato. Get a potato. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, and a paintbrush. But anyway. Oh wait. First, we need to set up some newspaper. Ah! My potato! It's falling off the table. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, make sure that you set up um, the newspaper, because, yeah, and you're going to need a Sharpie too. Um, anyway, so we're going to cut the potato in half, um, the potato that you cut in half. One of the halves you're going to use for the pineapple, and um, with the other half, you are going to, wait for it, cut it in half again, <laughs> and that you're going to use for the watermelon. So with the potato, you smudge it in some red paint and you start to stamp it onto the paper. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Um, keep on stamping and it should turn out like that. <laughs> um, once you've done that, you get your green paint and you draw a line around the outside of the red thing to make the skin. Um, make sure you leave a bit of a white gap to make it look more, look more realistic. <laughs> um, and then it should turn out like that. Um, and we are done. So once it's dried, you might want to get a per um, you get a permanent marker and do little seeds. But I think I really like it how it turned out. Okay, I'm taking a break now. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Hmm, I'm trying to go I'm trying to go on a diet. I'm trying to eat quite healthy, so I'm gonna move over to the fruit bowl. Hmm. Nothing there. Hmm, what to choose, what to choose. Oh biscuit! Okay, so we are back in business. <laughs> um basically you're gonna use the same stuff as we did for the watermelons, except you're gonna change from red and green to yellow. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm basically doing little lines in the potato to make like indents so when you put the yellow paint on it it's got gaps and that makes it look a lot more realistic. So once you've cut out those lines you want to get a sludge of yellow paint and paint it on the potato thingy and also you want to cut off a little bit of the potato because that makes it... Um, that gives room for the leaf, for the, la -la -la, for the leaves. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm basically just stamping stuff. Yeah, and now I am, once you've done that, you get green and start painting the leaves. So this is how I painted the leaves. You can paint them in any way you want, um, but I just quite like doing it this way. Um, so you can be really creative with this. Okay, so this one, it completely failed. <laughs> So I just colored with that, but anyway, um, 
So the cool thing about this is that it's, I'm not very good at um, freehand drawing, so this was a really cool thing for me, So because it was really easy and it looked really good. Okay, so now we're on the last one and we are done. So um, let it, that dry and then you stick it on your book cover. Okay, oh my gosh, I had no idea my face was in the shot. <laughs> I had no idea I was in the shot because my GoPro, it doesn't have a back, so I can't see which way it's facing. But anyway, um, so in this one, I'm going to use three colors. I am using red, orange, and yellow to make like a sunset color-y thingy. So, oh my god, my face looks so ugly from, the, from that angle. <laughs> So now let's get started. You're gonna need some water, obviously, because you're using watercolors. Um, sorry about the sound in the background. It like it's really loud in the background because we're making dinner and it's like really loud. But anyway, so I am starting off with some red. Um, so this is probably like one of the simplest art things that you could do. Yeah, I didn't have any card, so I used paper and the it went quite frankly. But once I put it on the book cover, it looked fine. Okay, now I'm moving to orange. Orangey. Oh my god, that was really pigmented. Let's try to water that out a bit. Okay, now I'm onto the yellow. Okay, so now I am basically done. I'm doing one last couple thingy my bobbies and I am wait for it. Done! And that's how it turned out. The paper was really wet. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm really Lula. <laughs> but anyway, I really love how these things, book covers, it work. I really love how they turned out. I feel like they're just really cool. Um, what I have done, um, not a very good job of, but I've got, um, what's the word? I forgot what it was. I got that cover plastic stuff that you put on top of the, um, that you put on top of books because the paint could chip off. And and stuff so make sure you put that on um yeah i hope you like the video like subscribe the usual and we'll see you in the next video